grow these fine automobiles for our personal use? Don't get cute. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, I didn't know they existed until my pa told me to go down to this old man's farm. He said he had a few cars we could take. What we didn't expect was 50 VWs in his garden, hanging around like shrubbery in a rich man's home. Damn waste of some good cars, but... This here's Market Square. No time. The Arapaho Garage is just outside the city gates. My old friend Doc Parker set up a clinic there. Parker's the best doctor in town. Be a hell of an asset. Let's hope you got another career plan. Care. I give it another three months before Pacer leaves you in the dust. Hey, Doc. Quan, hope you won't take offense, but I've got no time for niceties. Dying people take precedence. Understood, brother. They're in bad shape, and I don't have the time or tools to save them. Thank you. The things I need most are a suture kit, an injury kit, and a medic pack. Got that? These folks are literally dying on us, so don't fuck around. Great. Then get started on those patients. Is it? Just flesh wound, am I right? You should see the other guy. You closed my wound. Huh. I won't miss staring at my own gods. Jumped out of a building to escape the Dorseys. Didn't count on the ground stopping me. We've almost got everything the Doc asked for. My leg! You said it! Ugh, still hurts like a bitch, but maybe I'll actually walk again. What now? Good. Thank you. One sec, though. I know I've asked a lot of you, and I'm grateful for what you've already done. But I need one more favor. You see this girl? She was shot in the head, but there's no exit wound. The bullet's still in there. I need to keep constant watch on her, and I need cleaner, safer facilities to do it. If you let me use the facilities at your HQ, I'll... I'll do anything. I'll work as your doctor. I'll fucking juggle for you, Rangers. I just need to save her. What do you say? Thank you. Thank you. You've saved her life. And mine. Need anything before I get my stuff together? Of course. Let's have a look. Good luck.
Should I call him? Call who? Oh, just this woman he's been in love with forever now. They met in the bazaar and she saved him from getting into trouble. But now he's too scared to do anything about it. Whoa! Hey! <laughs> Hey, Jimmy. Glad to see you're okay. Dorsey's didn't get this far? Nah, they didn't bother with us. They were after folks wearing badges like yours. I would have shot those Dorsey's dead if they'd walked in my garage. Haven't seen your friends before. If you folks are looking for help with your vehicle, you've come to the right place. This is the Colorado Springs Arapaho Station. We got stations all over Colorado, mostly for fixing and supplying our own fleet. But we fix vehicles and sell parts to anybody. I'm the manager, Jimmy Longhall. That's my crew over there. You need any repairs or alterations to your ride, they're the ones who will put it all together. Best crew in the business. Eh? Oh, that's Doc Parker. He needed a place to set up his clinic, and we had the space, so... Good thing, too. Those Dorseys hurt a lot of people with that little raid of theirs. We brought as many as we could in here, and Doc's been patching them up as fast as he can. Only got two hands, though. The best in Colorado Springs, no lie. He was the Patriarch's personal physician for a while. Took care of all the hoity-toits in Broadmoor Heights, too. Kind of pissed us off at the time, actually. Nice Arapaho boy taking care of the hemorrhoids of the hundred families and turning his back on his own people. Came home in the end, though. Remembered who he was and set up his clinic here. Been serving the working people of Colorado Springs ever since. Co-workers, not employees. I only give the orders because I take the orders, get me? Anyway, Fastback's the old one. Been with the station almost as long as I have. Ranch, the tall fella, thinks he's a heartbreaker, but he's the most sentimental sap you'll ever meet. And Pacer is our newest recruit. Don't mess with her. She's 10 pounds of attitude in a five pound bag. At the moment, yeah, I guess so. Driving and wrenching has kind of become the Arapaho brand. We pride ourselves on being the best mechanics and couriers in the West. Well, except for those of us who run the stations, we mostly live on the road. The people of the convoy, some folks call us. And we've turned that way of life into a business. Arapaho service stations, Iron Thunder logistics, Arapaho caravan protection, and so on. While other folks were eating each other in the suburbs or fighting over mansions in Broadmoor Heights, we kept to the wildlands and didn't come back until civilization had reestablished itself. And when we came back, we came with services people needed. Transportation, protection, and repair. Been living well ever since. Sure we do, if they're good enough. Takes a lot of skills to be better than an Arapaho, though. Anything for your vehicle. Have a look. What about you? You got any stories for us? I've got them by the dozen. But you two idiots just keep talking and talking. So I figured that maybe they're not interested in how my parents made themselves a sled team of robots. 
Ah, oh, come on. Don't be like that. Talk's cheap. Give me your coffee ration for next week, and I'll consider it. <laughs> You're all right, kid. Got nothing to say to you. Talk to our mom. You got business with Mama Carter? Well then, stop wasting my time until you do. We use duct tape to fix this. Terrible. Ah, hello there. The name's Theodora Curie. Theo for friends. I need to work on these gate hydraulics, but I always have time to answer some questions, if you're here to learn about our wall. I am the humble son of scientists. My mother and father were on a mission to pursue the possibility of cold fusion. Imagine, nuclear reactions at room temperatures making it safe for everyone. Sadly, they are gone, and my efforts to follow their work has been stymied by immediate dangers. Perhaps one day, I'll have the time to devote to such a monumental achievement again. It's simply your standard concrete barrier with Tesla-styled electrical deterrence. Not an absolute marvel of what could be done, but sufficient for the task of keeping out enemies. If we had oil to power the generators, you'd see the glorious effect of thousands of volts of electricity arcing across it deterring would-be attackers from approaching. Such a pity. Believe me, I understand. Thank you for stopping by, and good luck out there. Back to the wall. Did you see the Dorseys almost blow up the statue? Yeah, I was hiding under the bookseller's stall. Marshall stopped him at the last second. Wouldn't be Market Square without it. Welcome to Mary Milk Teeth's Morning After Mart. If you did some things last night that you wish you hadn't, I got you covered. I can clean you up, sober you up, cure your ills, and get you ready to face the new day. Or maybe you got banged up in the Dorsey Raid. I can help with that, too. What do you need? Just a simple humanitarian who saw a niche that needed filling. Now, are you buying or are you talking? Remedies for regret, children. Headache pills, hair of the dog, pills for the pox, pills for the pain, and first aid kits for those of you who might have started something you couldn't finish. All guaranteed to fill you with pep and put a spring in your step. What can I get you? Here you go, children. Salvation is at hand. Girl, better stay back from my stall. Those goddamn Dorsey's dropped a landmine under it. Really? That's great news. Here's a little something for you. I'm back in business. Jesus, loaves and fishes, Christ! That's a bomb under my stall, ain't it? Oh, 
Oh, shit. Taiwan. God, it is. We best stay back. God damn it! Where are the marshals? They've got their hands full licking their wounds. You're gonna be waiting a while. Back up slowly. some new arrivals wash on in. Military types, they said. Can't really see the difference between you and the ordinary class of mercs. Don't take that tone of voice with the Rangers, Lupinski. Or what, Quan? You gonna arrest me? Fine, fine. What do you want? It's the Garden of the Gods. Rocks, experimental farms. And now, those fucking Dorseys! Sheriff Daisy say so. Nope. No room for amateurs in this town. You hear? No room. Glory, pal. Club's closed till the city's secure. These marshals and Dorsey's got on them. Yeah, those marshals were colleagues of mine. I'm gonna guess you didn't kill them, but you need to put all those valuables back and walk away. Fat chance. We got guns and ammo now. We don't take orders from marshals no more.
Jimmy Bob's still standing. Dorsey's or no Dorsey's? You think a little raid would stop snapping Jimmy Bob? No siree. Oh, hey, new faces. Let me know if you need to restock. I hear there's still some Dorsey's in the city. That's snapping Jimmy Bob, thank you. Not that much to tell. My dad was a traitor, and a good one, and now I'm a traitor, and a good one. Might seem boring to wandering muscle like yourself, but I like it. Oh, that's my prized possession. A genuine pre-apocalypse, fully functional microwave. I can cook up some truly gourmet delicacies with it. But the damn power got cut in the fighting. It'll take the city weeks to fix it. Let's. No admittance. Museum's closed.
darn it, Martha. Why else would I even keep a shotgun around if and I don't use it? Do you know who those outlaws are, Josiah? They're Dorseys! They won't be scared of a scrawny old man. A scrawny old man with a shotgun? Uh, hang on, I'm not that old. Oh, Josiah, just put down the gun and let someone else handle this, all right? Tom Sarnet, you Dorsey peckerheads, get on out of there. Hush up now, Josiah. You can't go in there alone. They'll kill you. You think I can't handle myself? I've put down worse than these in my time. Oh, since when? You've been a shopkeeper all your life. Will you help me talk some sense into this old fool? If he goes after those Dorseys, he'll get himself killed. Some of those Dorsey bastards are hiding out in my shop. My shop! Finest clothing store in the whole dang town. So I'm going in after them. They're too busy. Besides, a man should be able to protect his own shop. Finally, someone with some spine. I do it all myself, but since you're new in town, I figured you'd need to show your mettle. Josiah, don't you do this. Let these people handle it. They've had plenty of experience by the look of them. Well, I'm ready when you are. Here we come, you Dorsey bastards! Shit, Hotlanders! We thought you was all dead! Back off! Taking the shot. Oh, ah! Phew. 
boy, thanks again for taking care of those Dorseys. We'll clean up the old store and make it good as new. Pretty soon we'll be selling suits, pants, hats, and all the rest. Finest garments in town. And here, a little token of our appreciation. Come on back after we reopen the shop. I knew you had the look of soldiers about you. Rangers, I chat, but there's a lot to wrap up before I make my way to your headquarters. By order of the Patriarch, only authorized personnel are to pass this gate. An invitation from the head of a family or authorization from the Patriarch. Until you have that, the gate stays closed. Uh, the attack on the city has everyone nervous. Until that's all settled down, Patriarch's orders are in effect. Authorized business only. Rodmore Heights and the Patriarch's Palace. Good day.
extra, extra cowardly attack Master. on Colorado Springs. Mom? Sorry. Never mind. What? Why? What do you want? No, please, I just need you to go away. Please. I, I don't know. We were heading to Colorado Springs with a lot of other folks when we... we, uh... got separated. I... I hurried here as quick as I could after, but... I ain't found her anywhere. I keep hoping. <laughs> there, there was this smiling lady. She said she had some food, and I could take some back to my mom if I came with her. And next thing I know, she was gonna sell me. She put me in a cage. One of her men took me out of the cage to, to, I kicked them as hard as I could and ran. They didn't find me in the dark. And then I saw some refugees and tagged along. Stayed with them till I got here. Uh, bye. How does it feel now? Dozens killed by Dorsey Th New in town? Did you hear about what happened? Sure has. Dorsey's got into the city, but nobody knows how. They started shooting up the place and killed a lot of people. Then they made a run at the Patriarch's Palace. Oh, but they couldn't get inside. It took a while, but Sheriff Daisy and the Marshals beat him back. Now they're holed up in the Garden of the Gods. Well, some of them, anyway. Others jumped in their trucks and ran for it. Just what I've been told. Back before I was born, they were the family that betrayed the Patriarch and tried to take charge of Colorado. The thing is, everybody thought they'd been dead for years. I mean, there's tons of stories about how the Patriarch wiped them all out. Oh, Marshall Station, right over there. You can't miss the pillories out front. Yep. I work for the Colorado Patriot, only newspaper left in America. We tell people what's happening in the city and what they should think about it. Be careful. Dorsey Might still gone. be Dorsey's hiding out in the city. Murderers! like marshals. Do you work for the Patriarch? Then my boy needs your help. He's going to be executed. And they won't listen when I say he's no killer. Judge Watkins has sentenced my son to die. Austin is all I have left. Everyone else died on the plains. He's a good boy. He never hurt anyone. I'm sure of it. 
Please. Maybe Watkins will listen to you. I don't even know why he was rounded up. He won't tell me. Says he's embarrassed. I know they caught him doing something wrong, but he says he never hurt anyone. If you talk to him, maybe he'll tell you what happened. Sometimes it's easier to talk to a stranger than your mother. I know that much. Austin Pease, the skinny boy up on the platform. I can't imagine he killed anyone. We've seen enough death on our way out here. He never wanted to hurt anyone, ever. Our family escaped the wars in the East. Tried to make our way across the plains. My husband, my other son, my daughters, one by one, picked off and killed. Now it's just the two of us, and I'm gonna lose him too. Please, help my son. I hope you die slow. Sorry, I, I didn't... I, I didn't mean to ignore you. Just got a lot, a, a lot on my mind. Made a real big mistake. See, the Plains gangs chased my mom and me off our land. We lost everything. Heard this was a place of God-fearing people and thought they'd do right by us. <laughs> people here kept us out in the cold, letting us starve to death while they sat inside, warm and fed. Then the Dorseys came and gave me some food and some kindness and asked me to do some vandalism. I figured what was the harm. I never killed no one, but I did bust some windows. Marshals caught me doing it, and they said I was working with the Dorseys. Magistrate agreed, so here I am. Mom would have talked me out of it. I should have talked to her first. We were starving. No two ways about it. We were going to die. Dorsey's gave us food. I figured a few windows was a worthwhile trade for the bread and meat that saved our lives. I thought it was too harsh, but what happens if I speak up now? Will they come after my mom? I can't take the chance. Magistrate tells me it's death. They're gonna strip me down and time it to those things. And they're gonna let the cold do its work. I wonder if it'll hurt. Wish I could tell you it won't, kid. But that'd be a lie. Nice talking to you. Howdy, Judge. How's your heart? Still colder than a well digger's ass? Marshal Kwan. Impertinent as ever, I see. Rangers, I am Magistrate Silas Watkins. I have heard of your arrival. Partly from the confessions of the Dorsey Raiders, you'll be pleased to know that I sentenced them to death for their part in the attack on the city and your convoy. Which reminds me, that Dorsey you requested stand trial? <laughs> <laughs> he was clearly guilty and sentenced to the pillories. A waste of my time. He did have this note, though, which you may find interesting. His crimes are still severe. He was part of the Dorsey uprising. He caused significant property damage. His actions diverted marshals from responding to reports of attacks, magnifying the harm the Dorses were able to inflict. Argue a case, and I might show lenience. Hmm. I am not certain you truly understand the Patriarch's justice, 
but your words ring true. Perhaps death is too severe a punishment. This is irregular, but it is within my powers to grant you full custody of Austin Peace. Any further infractions he may commit are the Ranger's responsibility. I would recommend keeping him out of trouble. You should inform the boy. Best he hears the good news from you. Still here. Not looking forward to what comes next. What? Are you serious? Y you really saved my life and, and I get to be a ranger? Soon as they let me free, I'm going straight to your headquarters. I'll do whatever you need me to do. Clean guns, scrub toilets, you name it. Thank you, Say thank you, thank you. It's not fair. You rangers are heroes. I'm gonna tell everyone what you did for fair. my son. Thank you, thank you. Marshals, finally. I was beginning to think you were never going to help. Hold on now. You aren't marshals. You look like ruffians. Are you here to see the sheriff? Well, I'm first. I've been waiting here on tenterhooks for an hour. I... <sighs> Forgive me. That was unkind. I just... I am under considerable duress. My family has been kidnapped by those no-good Dorseys, and... And the Marshals will give me no answers about their situation. They won't even speak to me. I must know how the Sheriff intends to rescue them. And when. That may be, but my family is one of the leading families of Colorado Springs. We have been longtime allies of the Patriarch and supporters of all he stands for. Surely that should be given some consideration. Well, you look capable enough, but I don't know you from Adam. Why, you might be robbers or bandits. No, thanks all the same, but I think I'll continue to wait on the proper authorities. Frustrating though that may be. Sheriff Daisy, I will not leave until you speak to me. Please put in a word to the sheriff for me. If she'd only lend me a marshal or two, I'd rescue my family myself. Too old to fight the Dorseys, they said. Ha! We should build some more watchtowers around the garden. Dorsey slipped right past the ones we've got. Yeah, but we don't need to pull some reason. Miss West, Miss Wesson, could you? Sorry about that. Are you the Rangers? We were told to expect you. Sheriff Daisy's waiting for you in the back. Thanks, Torres. Anytime, Marshal Quan. Reports, lots of reports. The Dorsey raid really tore up the town. Murder, looting, fires, they even attacked this station. Not that they got very far. It's been exhausting. <laughs> Don't blink. It's on the back of the box. We keep the peace here in Colorado Springs. Mostly, though, we do what Sheriff Daisy says. Thanks. If you've got any feedback, be sure to fill out a form.
Well, now, you must be the rangers. I'm the sheriff around here, but you can call me Daisy. Old Saul tells me you're a bunch of badasses, and I ain't one to turn away a badass, especially at a time like this. I reckon you already heard all about the Dorsey raid, so I won't bore you with the details. Suffice it to say, we whooped them good, and the survivors are holed up in the Garden of the Gods with a bunch of hostages. Thing is, I lost a lot of marshals. My boys and girls are tired and beat up. You want to make some fast friends around here? You could go into the garden and speak to those Dorseys for us. Maybe find out how the hell they got into the city in the first place. And by speak, you mean shoot the everlasting shit out of them and save those hostages, right, boss? Quan, I hear you're some fancy liaison now. Old Saul taking my people without even asking? How dare he? Anyway, yes, you rascal. That's exactly what I mean. But question him first, you hear? Ma'am, yes, ma'am. That girl? You think I ain't heard her yapping? But I got a couple of 50 other people yapping at me, too. Tell you what, though. Her people are 100 family folks from the fancy side of town, so they got some pull. You can do me a big favor and kill two birds with one stone if you take little Miss Wesson with you when you go to save them. In fact, I'm going to insist on it. I need that girl out of my hair. I'll let Lipinski know you're bringing her along. He won't let you into the garden without her. Don't worry. She knows which end of the gun the bullets come out of. Go in there and kick some ass, Rangers. Hmm. I'm not sure why the sheriff didn't assign me marshals, but, well, beggars can't be choosers. I am the Miss Wesson she spoke of. Lucia Wesson, daughter of Percival Wesson and Maria Reyes of the Hundred Families. As Sheriff Daisy told you, they and some of our neighbors were taken hostage by the Dorseys, and I mean to free them. All of them. So, I am ready when you are. No good traitors, that's what they are. Used to be hundred families, like us, but rotten. Backstabbers, every one of them. At least that's what my father says. They rebelled against the Patriarch before I was born, and were driven from the city. I was always told they were dead and gone. It seems I was misinformed. It's a project of the Ward family. A showcase for their know-how. They grow food there using the latest technologies. Colorado Springs leads the world in science. But there are plenty of places to hide in the garden. The Dorseys could be laying for us anywhere. We shall have to be cautious. Certainly. My father taught me to shoot almost before I could walk, and I'm the best shot in the city. Oh, it's true. She's a prodigy, all right. Also a pain in the ass. I... No. But I have hunted. There's no need to worry that I will be shy about pulling the trigger. I promise, strangers, if it is to save my family, I will not hesitate. At last. Ah. <sighs> 